Hey everyone, how are you today? Hopping on today on a video to talk to you about imagination and how it creates your reality. Imagination is so important and it's interesting, isn't it, how as we were younger, as children, you know, we were told, stop daydreaming, stop imagining, wake up, get back to reality. And I'm here to tell you that you need to connect back to your imagination more, seriously. Because if you think about it, everything in your reality is created through imagination first, okay? We are imagining all the time. We just don't realize it sometimes. And we're not using it to our advantage at times to create the reality that we want. So, for example, when you wake up in the morning, what is the first thing you think of? It might be getting a glass of water, getting a cup of tea, getting a coffee, having some breakfast, right? So you actually think about that, which means you create a picture of that. And then all of a sudden you're there having a cup of coffee, tea, breakfast, whatever it is. But first you had to think about it. So you had to imagine it and then you were there. Everything in your reality was a thought first. Even the house you're living in, if you're living in a house, first it was a thought in someone's mind and then they created it. Am I right? Let me know in the comments. Is this making sense? So imagination creates your reality. Like it's amazing how us as humans can imagine things and bring them into our reality, into the three-dimensional reality and see them physicalize, right? We think about we want to buy a certain car or we want a certain job or whatever it is that we're manifesting, we want some money, then all of a sudden the money's there, right? When we put it out there, we've naturally thought about it which has created a picture in our mind about it. And then we bring it into our reality. Okay. So today this video is really about talking about you connecting back to your imagination. If you want to create something in your life, spend time in your imagination, spend time thinking about it, imagining it being in your life. So it might be more money. Imagine your bank account rising and rising and rising and just like deposits going in and in and in and the balance is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If you want to manifest a house, get specific and clear on what you want to manifest. See it, visualize it, right? And, you know, really get familiar with it in your brain. Now, your brain doesn't know the difference between what it imagines and what is real, right? So when you are imagining your brain, because it doesn't have any eyes to see, your its eyes, your conscious brain is what is showing the subconscious because the subconscious can't see. So it actually doesn't know that what you're imagining, right, is you're imagining it like you're not actually there. It doesn't know that. It thinks that it's real, okay? doesn't know the difference. So, you know, spend some time in that imagination. If you want to create a relationship, a loving relationship, spend time in your imagination imagining that. Get familiar with that. You know, really um, bring your senses into it when you're visualizing. That's really cool too to bring in your, you know, what you see, what you feel, what you taste, touch, hear, all of those things make it really, really real, okay? And then when you do that, when you spend time in that, it won't be long till you've actually physicalized it into the three-dimensional reality and you're experiencing it, okay? Your imagination is key. I cannot say this enough, okay? You've been told that 
your imagination isn't important, get out of your head, stop daydreaming. But I'm telling you now, that is where your power lies. So let me know in the comments if this resonates. Let me know if you are going to start using your imaginational power to create the life that you want. I want to know. Alrighty. Have an amazing night and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.